Hello everybody, I recently purchased a Boss Bow 2 by ALM Busy Circuits. It is an 8-way bi-directional voltage control switch. Um, I had some time to try it and to check it out and I was a little bit disappointed because it is not doing what I was thinking it can do and what uh, the description and the features described on the page of Busy Circuits are suggesting. So basically, I have a little example set up. I'm sending a clock um, with a rectangle wave with a duty cycle of 50% um, into the Bosbo 2 in, like um, the general in. And I want to route it via the offset um, knob to the different outputs of it. So we have eight outputs and by turning this knob they should route this signal to each one of them and eliminate it on all the other outputs. Each of these outputs is routed on one of the inputs of the squid sample and um, so right now this, um, this rectangle wave is triggering the first channel of the squid, squid sample. Now, if I turn this knob, what should happen is after each other, this sample, this uh, channels of the squid sample should light up. Okay. What you could see right now is when switching between some of the channels you had a trigger, not only of the channel you were addressing to, but also on the first channel. I thought at the beginning this must be an error, and then I started to investigate it, and apparently the rectangle wave coming into this input is causing an overload in the moment of switching, causing other channels rather than the one selected to trigger. Let's show it again. I'm in the first channel, so when I, when I passed the switch from second to third channel, it triggered the first channel. Let's see it again. First. Up. Again. So if I switch from the second to the third, the first channel gets triggered. Let's see. Let's go on. The rest seem to work now, but out of my experience I can say this is really not reliable. Sometimes it triggers different channels. Again. So now it was between the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth. If I go the other way around, the same behavior starts to happen but with the last channel. So let's go from the first to the last. And from the last to the first. Somehow it worked now. But as I said, it's not really reliable. No, it didn't. So as you see, it's not triggering clearly. Now, a workaround is, after talking to people of uh, Busy Circuits, is to reduce the, the width of the square wave input. We'll do that, I will reduce the width to 2%. This will increase um, the bleeding through, this will help for not bleeding through. But not always. It also depends how fast you switch. And sometimes you still have the problem. I couldn't completely eliminate it. So, for example, if I want to connect the signal from Pamela's to the clock, I have to go to step mode and it starts stepping through. Now I want, for example, to use another rectangle wave to trigger the signals from the squid sample. So now I use the rectangle output from my endorphins and put it in the input.
What you can hear is the last channel triggering when it should not trigger. I will slow down the clock of Pamela's to, s to slow down the triggering. Let's reverse the running order. So, for me, this was a big problem, that's why I returned the device and they sent me another one. And after trying that, the, the other one, this one, I had to realize that it has the same problems. So maybe you should consider not um, buying this device rather than another one. Or make your own experience and um, see if it fits your needs. Thank you.